Hello everyone. Today we will talk about the soil parent material. The soil parent material here is a kind of the rock that has affect the process of soil formation. Um, the different type of soil materials here will relate to the process of the weathering. Okay, if the rock get harder, so it's very hard to worn down. So it's very hard to form a soil layer. But if the rock under the ground here will be less harder, means softer, so it's easier to worn down and form the soils. Okay, for example, this case here we have a sandstone. The sandstone is harder, so we form uh the we get the weathering process here harder than the shell. The shell is much softer, so the soil layer above the shell layer here will be thicker than the soils over the the sandstone. Okay, just like this one, we have three different type of the of the rock. We have the first type here as a limestone. Okay, the limestone contain the calcium carbonate. So the calcium carbonate here can be corroded by the acid, okay. But the sandstone composed of silicate SiO four, two minus the silicate cannot be, um, reacted with the acid, so it's much harder. But the clay here, contain the particle here, with the, uh, clay particle, so it's very easy to break down, okay. So if you compare three different type of the rock. To worn down, so the one that get easiest to worn down here will be the shale. Then we have limestone, and then we have the sandstone. And if we compare the thickness of the soil layer here above the sandstone here, is it is very thin. But if you compare the thickness of the soil here above the shale here, will be thicker. Okay, because the shale here get worn down easier than the sandstone. The next, the next factors about the soil formation here can be the climate and the topology. The climate here for the area that have uh, a lot of the water and the temperature is quite high here, it will activate the process of the bacteria to digest the uh, organic matter, okay, and produce the acid by the process we call decomposition. Just like this one here, we have the bacteria. So the bacteria here produce the enzyme to digest the organic matter. The OM here stands for organic matter. So later it will release the acid into the ground, and later here it will activate the process of the, uh, chemical weathering. But for the area that is very cold and dry here, it will resist for the process of the weathering process because we have, smaller amounts of the microorganism in the ground. The topology mean the steepness. If the land here we have more slope like this. A more slope like this, you will have a lot of the erosion. If the area with less slope like this, you will have less erosion occur. The next one can be the soil property. The soil properties explain about the characteristics of the soils. So we have many types, like a soil texture, means the ratios of the soil particle, like a clay particle, silt particle, and the sand particle. And then we have the soil pH. Soil pH means the acidities or the alkalinities of the soils. Okay, for example, the acidic, neutral or basic. The third type here can be porosities, mean the space between the soil particle. That is quite important for the gas and the water here to exchange, and the porosity here also relate to the permeability, means the property to allow the water or gas here to pass through. Just like this one here, the gas and the water can pass through. But if you have more porosities, you will have more permeability. Yeah, as this one. We have soil texture here. Explain about percentage of the sand, anupak sai, even silt, anupak sai bank, and even clay or anupak dingyao in the soils. So if you mention about the ratios of the, uh, the size, sorry, the size of the three different type of the soil particle here, the clay we have the smallest size, less than point oh oh two millimeters, and the size of the seal here between 0.002 to 0.05 millimeters. The largest one here can be the sand, larger than two millimeters. And this one here, you can use this triangle to define the soil texture here. For example, the soils contain twenty percent of clay, thirty percent of seal, and fifty percent of the sand. This way here, you can draw the line to link them together. The first one here we have clay, twenty percent of clay. Like this, twenty percent. You draw the line here, and after that, here you have thirty percent of silt. This one, you draw the line here, and after that, you have fifty percent of sand. This one, 
you can draw the line here. When the three lines become joining together in the area, you can read the type of the soil texture as this one is loam. This one, loam is soil. The soil pH explains about the acidities and alkalinity of, of the soils. If we have different type of the crop here, they will require different soil pH. For example, here we have acidic soil. This one here less than 5.5, the neutral 5.5 to 8. And then here alkaline 8 to 9, and larger than 9 here we have alkali highly alkaline. So if you have the acidic soil, you can apply the line, okay, in bone. To, uh, to increasing the pH. But if the soil is here, it will be very highly alkaline here. You need to find out the plant that can resist to the alkalinity soils. Okay, or even you can apply some chemicals like a sulfur, or even manure, or even compost, pui cork and pui mat. Okay, and the problems will occur to the mineral in the soil here. You may have the condition that we have deficiency, means the condition that the mineral here get precipitate within the soil and they cannot enter into the uh, root of the plant. So the plant will show the condition that like a lack of the nutrient. And the condition here, the toxicity means the mineral did dissolve a lot into the soil, uh, in the space between the soil particle. And after that here, we enter into the root of the plant. So the root of the plant here will show the properties like they get a lot of the nutrient. So we call toxicities like this. The soil pH will affect to the nutrient availability means the properties that plant here can absorb the nutrients like a precipitation or reduce the concentration of the, the, the nutrient in the soil or even present the toxicities mean over the solution of the mineral. So we need to adjust the pH of the soil in order to make all this mineral here become uh, dissolved in the suitable amount. For the acidic here, you add the lime. And for the alkaline soil here, you can add the sulfur or the organic manure. So this case here for the alkaline soils here, the nutrient here can adhere to the surface of the soil particle. So when you, when, when the root of the plant here need to absorb all this nutrient in, they cannot absorb it because all the mineral here attach to the surface. So this way here, you need to add the acid in. The acid can replace the mineral. So the mineral here can enter into the root of the plant. In case of the acidic soils here, we have a lot of the acid here adhered to the surface. So all the mineral here dissolve into the space between the particles, between the root and the soil particle. So this way here, the root can get a lot of the mineral into the root of the plant. So the root of the plant here will represent toxicity. Okay, and different range of the pH here can affect different levels of the, different type of the mineral to dissolve. Like a very slightly acid or slightly alkaline here, we have a lot of the new, uh, a lot of the nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, sulfur, and calcium, magnesium available. But if the, they become like a strongly alkaline or strongly acid here, they cannot, all, all the things here can adhere to the surface of a soil particle or become precipitate. But in the zone of the acid here, the iron and manganese, boron, copper, and zinc here will dissolve a lot. Okay, in case of the strongly alkaline here, the molybdenum will dissolve a lot. So the different type of, different range of the pH here will affect to the different levels of the solubility of the mineral to the root of the plant. The next one can be the porosities. The porosities means the holes between the soil particle to let the gas and the water pass through. Okay, so the gas and the water is very, they, they are very important for the plant and the microorganism to grow. The first case here, they don't have the space like this, no pore. We call non-porous and non-permeable. But this one here, you can see the pores between the soil particle, but the pore here do not link together. So we call porous and non-permeable. And the last type we call porous and permeable. So you can see the space here between the soil particle and the space here become linked together. So the soil and the water and the gas here can pass through uh, these layers of the soils, like this. The next one can be the soil problems. Another soil problem here can be acidic soil or the alkaline soil. You can add the lime and the sulfur to adjust the pH. But the salty soils or the sodic soil or the saline soil here will be the soils that contain more than 6% of sodium. So it, it will affect so the plant root. So you need to run the, the fresh water here, pass to the, the land. 
okay so the wash water here will help to wash the salt from the land so this one here during the dry season here we have the smallest amount of the fresh water in the river so the the salty water here from the sea here will get into the river so they will make a soil in this area here becomes salty so we can call sodic soil so this way so we need to make a small canals like this contain fresh water to run onto the surface with the small canals here with a curvy structure like this in order to wash away the salt out of the out of the land this way so the salt here can be washed away this way into the drain canals okay thank you